Hi everyone! This video is an introduction to diamond painting. Um, if you've never heard of diamond painting, it has a really similar process to painting by number, but instead of using paint, we're going to be using these little itty bitty diamonds um, to really bring our painting or our picture to life. So before we get started, I want to very quickly go over some of the things I have already ready um, so that as soon as I'm ready to paint, it'll be a much easier process. The first thing I have is my stylus. This is what I use to pick the beads up. I have my wax. The wax looks like it's not very much, but it actually goes a long way. So even though it's a little pot, it's going to last me a while. I have this nice little tray so that when I decide to do a certain color, I can dump those little beads or um, diamonds into this tray and it makes it much easier to pick up. Um, there are these little lines that make it so that the diamonds lay in a way that's much easier to pick them up versus dipping your stylus into a pot. And of course, I have my diamonds. I have them sorted in my own way. You might keep them in their original packaging. You might organize them even more than I do. So whatever you're comfortable with is going to be perfectly fine. So I've already decided on the section I'm going to be working on today. And the little symbol almost looks like a T. Okay. So I'm going to use my corresponding chart over here and I'm going to find the symbol that I'm ready to work on. So I'm looking, looking and not seeing a T. And right here at the bottom is the same symbol that's on the section I'm about to do. And according to this symbol and this chart, it says that that symbol represents the color 37. So I've already pulled that color out of my collection of beads. You can see I have it labeled 37. So I'm going to take just a couple of these beads and I'm going to dump them into our little tray so it's easier to pick them up. I'm going to take my stylus and again, I already have the plastic pushed back. So that is also something to remember to do. Can't put our little diamonds on top of the plastic. So I've got my stylus. I'm going to open my wax and I'm going to dip my stylus into my wax. So I'm going to take the tip. I'm going to really push it in there, maybe wiggle it a little bit to make sure it gets all plenty of wax. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my stylus and I'm going to pick up a bead. Once you've picked up the bead, all that's left to do is put it on the corresponding spot. Just like that. So all you're doing is repeating the same process. So as you can see, here is my little tray, and this is the section that I'm working on, these little T's. So I'm going to make sure the diamond is right side up, which means the round part faces up. I'm gonna pick it up with my stylus, and I'm going to place it on one of the T's. Then I'm going to pick another one up and place it on another tee. Once you've put down as many diamonds as you want, maybe you do the whole painting, maybe you do it section by section, maybe you just do a couple at a time. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to diamond paint. So once you're finished for the night or maybe the day, you are going to first put our little plastic back over our painting. Keeping that plastic on is important because it's what keeps our painting sticky. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my beads in my little pot and I'm going to dump the ones in my tray back into it using the narrow little spout. I'm just very gently pushing them back in. I'm going to make sure the lid's on tight so I'm not spilling my diamonds everywhere. I'm going to put the lid back on my wax pot so that the wax stays sticky and doesn't dry out. And that's it. I hope this was helpful in getting you started in diamond painting and I hope you love it as much as I do.